CNN is also reporting that in uh, Woodward's book, um, according to a Trump aide, there have been multiple phone calls between former President Trump and Vladimir Putin, maybe as many as seven since Trump left the White House in 2021. Uh, what's your reaction uh, to that? Uh-oh, CNN accidentally allowed counter-narrative facts into the American conscience. It is always wild watching the media's alternate reality narrative bubbles get punctured live on the air by someone who's clearly not willing to play their games. The look on Jake Fapper's face alone is enough to watch this clip, so check it out, then stick around for the rest of the story. Former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, Prime Minister Johnson, thanks so much uh, for being here and congratulations on your new book. Before we get to that, I do want to ask you uh, questions about some breaking news here in the U.S. Uh, there's some new reporting on Bob Woodward's new book, revealing some very, very candid behind the scenes conversations between world leaders. In the book, uh, President Biden reportedly calls the Israeli prime minister a, quote, son of a bitch and a, quote, bad effing guy. Uh, you've met with President Biden at the White House. Does that ring a bell? Does that sound familiar? Well, look, I had great relations with Joe Biden and, uh, you know, the job of the UK PM is to prime ministers have good relations with all American presidents. Um, you know, I, uh, all I can say is I think that uh, in the normal stresses and strains of uh, alliance and, and friendships between uh, the UK and Israel, the US and Israel, uh, you, you'd expect people occasionally to use intemperate language, but that, I don't think that really undermines the, the strength of, uh, of our commitment. CNN is also reporting that in uh, Woodward's book, um, according to a Trump aide, there have been multiple phone calls between former President Trump and Vladimir Putin, maybe as many as seven since Trump left the White House in 2021. Uh, what's your reaction uh, to that? <coughs> well, I, I don't know if that's true, I, and I'm certainly not privy to the contents of, of those sorts of conversations. What I can tell our, our viewers is that when I had dealings with President Trump over Russia, like when the, the Russians poisoned people in the UK, it, it was actually the Trump administration that, that really, uh, you know, over, uh, uh, they exceeded expectations. They expelled 60 Russian spies. It was the Trump administration that actually gave uh, Ukrainians uh, lethal weaponry, the Javelin uh, missiles to use against, uh, against Putin's uh, troops. So, you know, uh, people take their pick about this. I, 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 I'd be interested to know what those conversations contained, if, if indeed they took place. Yes, exactly. And I've talked about it many, many times about the fact that it was Trump who ended up arming Ukraine when the pro-Putin Democrats, Joe Biden and Barack Obama, refused to. And remember, back when those two were in charge, Obama got caught on a hot mic kowtowing to Putin's puppet at the time. Putin then began invading Ukraine with their so-called little green men, clearly sensing the Democrats' weakness. Then Trump comes in and he's the one that ends up giving Ukraine javelin missile systems. In case you didn't know, those systems were crucial to Ukraine's defense of Kiev at the start of the current war. Retired Army Colonel Richard Hooker, now with the Atlantic Council, says one of the weapons that has slowed the Russian momentum is the American-made Javelin anti-tank weapon which the U.S. is shipping to Ukraine by the thousand. Explain to me how any of that is pro-Putin. It's clearly not, which is why our media has memory hold it. To the point that nobody ever really talks about it, even pro-Trump people. They certainly talk a lot about how Trump is supposedly anti-NATO, but if you look at what actually happened, Trump ended up being right about everything. From Germany being too reliant on Russia for energy, to NATO being over-reliant on the U.S., both things that are established facts now. ECB president, odd character in her position to be commenting on the former president, but has commented on the former president, Donald Trump, said that Donald Trump was a threat to some European interests, including NATO's. And this was exactly Trump's main issue, that we were not spending enough. And he was right. He was right. Uh, because uh, America is about 50% of NATO economy. They were at that moment, when he was president, spending about 70-75% of the NATO budget. And the rest of NATO was only doing 25%. So he, had, he was completely right. Explain to me how warning Germany about their over-reliance on Russia for energy is somehow pro-Putin. It seems to me that that actually works against Putin's interests. Then Biden gets back in and another war flares up. That slowly escalates 
relating to World War III. The media is, right now, jizzing with glee over rumors with no evidence that Trump has been secretly talking with Putin. Don't worry, it's completely different when they spread misinformation with no evidence. I'm gonna be very frank with you, even if that is true, I'd be fine with it, because I'd rather find a peaceful end to this war that doesn't seem to be going so great for Ukraine right now and could very well end in a nuclear war. Which, quite frankly, is yet another thing that our government is not honest with the public about. The fact is, the threat of the world being held hostage by nukes by a madman like Vladimir Putin has always been obvious and an almost imminent scenario that even I realized as a teenager. The reality is, we need to find a way to avoid nuclear nuclear war at all costs. That's just the reality of the situation. That's why I support helping Ukraine up to a point and conventionally, but if they end up losing, let's not end the world over it. What do you all think? Am I a Russian asset or am I on to something? Let me know in the comments and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.